I'm going to go up and try and fix that. Still bubbling. Now we get to go into the pond, which is fun. And you can see that right where it's introduced. But you can see there's no air all the way up the rest of the line. So it's easy usually to find these air leaks. So what I'm going to do is patch this in. So I'm going to use a couple different 3D printed items. These are called, I can't remember what they're called really. I'll look them up and put it in, in here. But um, they're just hooks that grab the line and then it'll pull the slack out. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then this is a 3 16 line cutter. It's got a razor in there. Um, so I'll be using these two tools and we'll just get her done. This has got three hooks on it. Put one in here, one over here, and the holes right here. So when I pull these two, it'll hold it. So then we can come in with our cutter. We'll cut it and it won't go all the way down the line. And we'll take some out because it was a little loose. This is a connector tool. It holds the line in one side and then I can push this repair connector. It's two barbs, one for each side. And we took a stretch of line out of here to make this tighter anyway. So put it in one end just to get it started. And then we'll get it clamped on here. And I'll push it in here. Sometimes you got to move it down. Okay. Let's make it a little bit tighter. With this. Push that in. Then you go on one side. Clip it in here. And line it up. Push it on there. And it should be repaired. And then you can take it off this end. And then those two off of there. And now it's tighter and it's together. Way easier than running buckets for me anyway, because as you can see, I got I got trees that are kind of far apart from each other. 